In this video, we're going to be looking at dots and wires in the network editor inside Houdini. So let's have a look. Now, if I zoom out, I can see the entire construction history of these small vacuum tubes here. So I'm going to hit control B to maximize my window and I can see my network editor with all my nodes. And at a glance, everything is fairly organized. Things are vertically aligned and evenly spaced, but down here with the wires, it could use a little bit more structure and we can get that structure by using dots. So I'm going to zoom in and over here I have these four outputs coming out of the normal, I can gather them up with a dot by holding down Alt and left mouse button clicking like so. And if I don't want to keep that dot, I can just select it and delete it. But I'm gonna drop some dots here to gather up these. So Alt and left mouse button click. And over here, Alt and left mouse button click as well. And notice that the dot tries to align itself, which is convenient. It'll help us to stay visually organized when we can snap align it to things. So. See how that snap aligned to the other dot in this one as well. And after a few more dots, we can get something like this. And if we zoom out, we can see the network more clearly with the, the dots in place on the wires. Now, if you don't like the style of the wires, you can toggle to a rounded option by hitting shift S and that's the rounded style, but I'm going to set it back to the straight one because that's what I like. So I'm going to hit shift S and next we're going to look at how we can put down wires with dots and not just dots on existing wires. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to click on the output of the transform node and hold down the alt button and I can just freely click wherever I want to put down a dot, which basically shows that we can have very controlled a structure of our network if that's what we want. So now when I've finished, I can either hit the escape key or I can just left mouse button click to complete it. And if I want to wire it up to a node, I can just hover over the dot and you can see these handles appear. You can just grab the handle and plug it into the node. And that's my connection. Now I'm going to delete that. And next we're going to look at how we can switch connections of the wires. So I'm going to put down a null again. And by the way, wires are selectable. So if you grab them, they highlight. If I grab this one, it's going to change to a solid yellow because it's indicating to us if we delete this, this wire is also going to disappear. So if I just pick this one and delete it, this one remains. But if I grab that one and delete it, both wires are gone. So I'm going to undo that. And if I want to connect this to the null, I can just hover over the dot, grab the handle and just plug it into the null. If I change my mind, I just grab that wire and plug it back into the dot here. Now with dots, you also have the option to pin the dots, which is pretty cool because it allows you to keep the dot in place and it lets you do future wirings. So let me just show you by holding down the Alt key and clicking on a dot, you can see that the dot appearance changes. So now I'm gonna do that for all of them. And I'm also gonna show you how to disconnect or cut wires very quickly. Uh, you can hold down the Y key and just notice that your cursor changes to these mini scissors. You can just use it to slash across the lines, which is pretty awesome. Now you just left mouse button, draw around it and your wires are gone. Now the dots notice that they all remain. You can also color your dots. So if you hit the C key, you can pick a color and just drop it on and notice that the wire changes and you can also choose your own color. So if you right mouse button click, you can select add color and I'm gonna pick a nice salmon color like so and hit okay and see that it pops up down here. So I can just grab these guys and this one too and just throw it up on there. And now everything is salmon. So if I want to connect these dots, I can still grab them all and click on the handle and just plug them into the merge and everything's wired up. Okay, next we're gonna look at the long wire fading option. And we're gonna look at that inside of a principal shader. So I'm gonna jump to my material context so here is my principal shader, I'm inside. And if I mouse over any one of these faint wires, it turns into a solid color, but you can see that the color is strong here from the output of the, the node and uh, where it goes into the other inputs. And if you don't like this fading, you can just hit the D key and where it says long wire fading, you can just move the slider and it'll change into a constant color. So now if we use the dot to collect these wires, we can hold down Alt and you can just collect the wires like that. Same for these guys and over here as well. Now if I turn back on the long wire fading which is distance based, so the further it is the more faint it becomes, you can see that it looks more clear like that. So depending on your preference you can use dots for a lot of things. And that's dots and wires in the network editor inside Houdini. Thanks for watching.